Hello, greetings, good afternoon. Welcome to Storytime with me, Darcy May, and Princess Foxy Lady of Maine, who's all prettied up in her Easter dress. We have Annie and Natalie. They are here all ready for our story to begin. See them already. They have their pets with them. They have all these nice little Easter things all around them. Today we are reading my story called Xander the Easter Boy. Hello, my name's Xander. I am a little boy. I like Easter time more than any of my toys. After Easter and the month of April both end, I get back to work on next year's Easter again. I've hoped and I've dreamed that someday when I am big, I will meet the Easter Bunny and help out him. I have made up my mind this year. It just must be. I know it is time to meet the Easter Bunny. When the month is April, the season is called spring. There's lots of rain and sun. Seeds sprout and start growing. Trees, plants, and grass begin to grow thick, full, and green. But when there's lots of rain, things can become muddy. Where there is dirt, a mud puddle is found. If you're not wearing boots, you'd best walk around. But if you are wearing rubber boots on your feet, walk through those mud puddles. They shouldn't be very deep. Mud puddles dry out when... The sunshine comes back out, so have some fun in them. Jump in and splash about. Okay, that's all I am saying about springtime. It's the Easter bunny that I have on my mind. I walked with my wagon down to the farmer's stand. Farmer John will be there. He always shakes my hand. I asked Farmer John if... He had carrots for sale. Farmer John told me he had put some in a pail. I asked, are they sweet ones? I need the best you have. Farmer John said, Xander, they're my best. You'll be glad. Farmer John got a pail of carrots. They looked good. I reached in the pail and four big carrots I took. I said, I've one dollar or four quarters to pay. Farmer John said, carrots are one quarter today. One carrots, <laughs> one quarter. You took four carrots, so four carrots, four quarters. That's right. How did you know? I shook my head surprised. I simply made a guess. I was lucky and right. Farmer John shook his head. He smiled at me and asked, Xander, why do you need the four carrots you bought? I said, for the bunny, for the Easter bunny, the one who comes tonight. I'm going to stay up and see him my first time. When I see him, I'll tell him all about my dream, which is to spend some time with the Easter Bunny. I'm hoping I get to deliver eggs with him. I will be a big help. I'm good at hiding them. Farmer John smiled and said, Xander, I wish you luck. He will like those carrots. Now come, give me a hug. I put the carrots in my wagon. Then I gave Farmer John a hug by. I left and we both waved. I pulled my wagon home. The carrots rode in it. I walked through mud puddles. The wagon tipped a bit. I made it home just fine. I pulled the wagon in the shed and left it there. The carrots I took in. I put the carrots on the counter by the sink. I took my boots off then. I washed the carrots clean. I made a basket for the Easter Bunny's food. Carrots will go in it. All four of them I'll use. The carrots dried and I put all four carrots in the basket I had made. I looked at it and grinned. 
The basket's beautiful. The carrots look pretty. They are the perfect gift for the Easter bunny. It was getting late and I had to go put my Easter basket where it will be easy to find. I sat my basket close to the one I made for the Easter bunny. That's the best place, of course. I picked out a good spot for me to wait and hide. I hid, hid under a warm blanket with a flash light. I waited and waited. I almost fell asleep. Then I heard a loud noise. It's the Easter Bunny. He filled up my basket, then went to hide some eggs. When he was all finished, I jumped up and I said, Hello, Easter Bunny. It is nice to meet you. It's finally happened. My dream is coming true. Thank you for bringing these stuff inside my basket and hiding all those eggs. I can find them, I bet. Mr. Easter Bunny, I'm nervous. I am scared. My body is shaking. Standing up is my hair. My one dream has been to meet you and help you out. May I go with you to somebody else's house? I want to be with you and sneak inside a home. Help fill Easter baskets. Hide Easter eggs also. Pretty, please. Please, pretty, please, please, I want to help you tonight, Easter Bunny. You'll make my dream come true. The Easter Bunny was absolutely surprised. He was standing still and staring into my eyes, the Easter Bunny said. I think I see a tree. Are those four carrots in that nice basket? For me, I said, oh, yes, eat them. They are Farmer John's best. I bought them just for you. Bite one. Give them a test. Thank you, Xander. I will, said the Easter Bunny. He ate three carrots then, gave the last one to me. He said, if you're going to help me on this night, you must eat for your strength. Trust me, I know I'm right. Xander, I want to help to make your dream come true. You can help me tonight. One house with me, you'll do. Thank you, Easter Bunny, I said, smiling happy. I ate the carrot fast. Then we were both ready. The Easter Bunny said, Xander, it's time to go. Follow me quietly. I will be moving slow. I was so excited. I wished that I could scream, but I didn't. I am with the Easter Bunny. We quietly went to a wagon he hooks to and pulls along with him. It moves along real smooth. Sweet candy, surprised gifts, stuffed animals, and eggs filled the wagon he pulled. Wow, holy Cow, I said, as we moved over to the neighbor's house, I thought, alone on Easter, he cannot make all these stops. Standing still outside my neighbor's house, I just had to ask how it gets done, knowing will make me glad. I said, I have a question for you, Easter Bunny. One bunny and wagon plumb full of Easter treats. There is no way you can go see all of the kids, fill all of the baskets, and get all the eggs hid. So how does it happen? And all in just one night? Tell me, Easter Bunny, the answer that is right. The Easter Bunny turned and said this back to me. The Easter Bunny is the Easter family. My family is huge and all over the world. We work hard together, men, women, boys, and girls. We are trained from day one to get this one night right. I know there's never been a failure on this night. So Xander, now you know how Easter's a success. Us Easter Bunnies know we all must do our
best. I was taking it in. I know the story now. And tonight, I'm living out a dream. Holy cow. I said, thanks for telling me the Easter Bunny story. Tonight is great. I'm making history. The Easter Bunny laughed and handed me some eggs. Quietly follow me, the Easter Bunny said. We went into the house as quiet as a flea. We filled Easter baskets with lots of Easter treats. We hid some Easter eggs. I found fabulous spots. I was having fun and I really hid a lot. I could see my neighbor's house from my house just fine. Tomorrow I'll watch as the hidden eggs they find. When we were finished, the Easter Bunny took me back home before going on delivering treats. When I got home, I said, Goodbye, Easter Bunny. Thanks for a super night. I have lived out a dream. I lay down in my bed as happy as could be. I got to spend some time with the Easter Bunny. I thought about next year. Will Easter surprise me? And oh my goodness, I need another dream. I'm tired and need some sleep. For next year, I will wait and I'll have a new dream. But for now, I must say, good night for me, Xander. I am a little boy who likes Easter time more than any of my toys. Well, there. That's it. I sure hope you have enjoyed the story of Xander living out his dream of being with the Easter Bunny. Well, as you know, at the end of our story time, we like to sing our end of story time song. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye to all our friends. Our story time is done. Goodbye to all of you. It has been lots of fun. Thank you all for coming. We love each one of you. Here's a warm hug for me, the princess, and her daughters, too. Thanks for joining us for our Easter story time. Bye-bye for now, our friends. See you next Sunday with another story time.